I'm standing next to a special tire here. And this tire is special because it was made using bioisoprene. Bioisoprene is a key material used to make polyisoprene, which is a synthetic rubber that gets used in making uh, a large number of tires and supplements natural rubber, which comes from rubber trees. Uh, our relationship with the Goodyear Tire and Rubber Company started in 2007 when we were approached by Goodyear as they were looking for a way to supplement isoprene, which is a key raw material, which is currently derived from petroleum feedstocks. And they felt that not only a new source of isoprene would be useful and beneficial to their business from a supply standpoint, but also looking at the megatrends, a isoprene that was derived from renewable feedstocks would provide a very sustainable uh, contribution to making a material that is sold o with over two billion pounds a year of isoprene that goes into not only tires but a, a number of other uh, mater specialty materials for instance materials that get used in adhesives that, that get um, distributed in a wide variety of commercial products. We have received no government uh, subsidies or uh, uh, help uh, directly. Now we take advantage of, certainly of universities through collaborations that help support uh, work that the Goodyear company and uh, Genencore is doing in collaboration. But we're at a stage both companies are, are, are mature and we can afford to invest the monies that we need to to develop the technology. Yeah, we work with a very careful stage gate process so that we have obligations to our investors to meet technical milestones which give us the uh, ability to de-risk the, uh, the investment. This is a complex enough project that no single company, we believe, certainly not Goodyear nor Genencore alone could uh, tackle this problem. Genencore being a biotech company does not have the skills and the chemistry and the downstream processing that's what Goodyear has, but they don't have the skills in the biotechnology. So this was a very nice example of open innovation working to bring this type of a product to the bio-based uh, economy. Well, we're still in the our, our research and development phase in, in developing this uh, commercial uh, production platform. And we view the isoprene molecule, the bioisoprene molecule, as a, it's a hydrocarbon and then not only can go into the chemical side of the bioeconomy, but longer term it could also be used as a hydrocarbon type of fuel ingredient that gets used to make gasoline and diesel and jet fuel type of uh, uh, biofuels. Genencore's history that dates back to the middle 1980s has been uh, very heavily influenced by a business development plan that uh, is based around Genencore providing a technology competence but aligning itself with market leadership companies that don't necessarily have the biotechnology but have the market insight and the market needs. This has been very important in building our company uh, and now a division within the Danisco uh, company uh, to about a one billion US dollar size enterprise. And uh, one of the very uh, important contributing factors here has been to de-risk high tech uh, um, projects. And this is certainly a high tech and high risk uh, project. So being able to de-risk through partnerships with Goodyear who provides the specifications and the market connection uh, is certainly a very important uh, factor in being successful in the commercial stage of, uh, of these kind of programs. No one company has all of the skill bases that are necessary to be able to get projects done faster, better, and uh, less expensively. And certainly uh, our view is, is that open innovation, collaborations, a win-win type of business planning uh, perspective, very important in developing the bio-based economy. And this has been uh, true for companies our size. You can also see that in companies like DuPont, which much larger company, uh, again, collaborations on different parts of the value chain, very important. In today's uh, industrial biotechnology world, uh, there's a great deal of promise. And the challenge for the uh, companies that are in play uh, need to make sure that they have the discipline and the wherewithal to not only have the talk, but be able to deliver the uh, products and the processes that our societies are expecting.